I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. So today we are going to watch uh, an interview slash debate uh, between Red's Rhetoric and I. You might notice that there is um, many people in there. Uh, these are all Red's friends. I don't know where he finds them, but one of them uh, actually works at NASA. And uh, the other ones, one of them was a nuclear physicist for six years. Um, another one... I don't know if he's just an expert at uh, KSP, uh, Kerbal Space Program, or if he actually knows quite a bit about orbital mechanics. So, um, yeah, so we had a, a debate, and you know, it was a little unfair that you know it was just me versus all of these guys. Uh, but I, I knew that it would be like that, and I didn't, I didn't call for hey, just me and Red, because you know what, I thought that would be boring, because I've listened to other of Red's debates, which is him and another person, it's just kind of like awkward nervousness and. You know, it just, it's, I, I couldn't watch it for more than a couple minutes. So I, I agreed to allow him to bring in his friends to spice things up a bit. So, um, yeah, I think I held my own pr uh, pretty well. I mean, they definitely were really, a lot of times, really, really mean. You know, like death threats, you know, things like that. Just like, all out, as much vileness as they could muster up, they gave it to me. So... Pretty interesting. Uh, it doesn't get started until about 20 minutes in here. So, I mean, I'm just going to keep it all here. Um, but what happened was uh, they sent me a link. And for some reason, that link allowed some people to come into the Hangout. And it didn't allow others. Other people got diverted to another Hangout. So one of the guys uh, eventually, late on, maybe around the two-hour mark in this video, he says, look... You know, uh, what what's happening, Google's screwing up, some people get into different hangouts. It's happened to him before, so things happen. So this debate doesn't really get started until about 20 minutes in, so you can kind of fast forward uh, to there if you want. Start to look for when I show up with uh, you know, a, a picture of a dude with gears in his head is my, uh, is my picture there. So, uh, overall, I'm happy with the debate. You know, I definitely feel that we both, both sides of the argument, uh, both sides made pretty convincing arguments, and, uh, you know, it definitely leaves room for the viewer to come to their own conclusions, and that's what this is all about. I mean, it's not about me convincing anybody of the truth, and then, you know, if, or, you know, of, let's say, rockets not working in space. It's not about me convincing people about that, because then, if it's them believing me, I don't want them to believe me. I want them to believe based on all of the evidence, okay? If they believe me, then what happens is every time something comes up that challenges their beliefs, who do they turn to? Do they turn to themselves to think about things? No, they turn to me like, hey, what about this? What about that? You know, this isn't about... And I, I have not met anybody on YouTube that is like that, but I know that that exists out there, okay? So what I'm saying, I haven't noticed this at all. Everybody, I've, all of you, all of my followers are just awesome. You think for yourselves, uh, you pose your own ideas, you come to your own conclusions, and you guys are awesome like that. But I'm just kind of giving you an understanding of where I'm going with this, and that is I want to get all the evidence on the table. I've done a lot of homework, okay? I've looked at all of the evidence. Well, you know, to the best of my ability, I find all of the evidence of you know, uh, uh, Newton's third law, gas, solids, whatever, in space, in a vacuum. I look at all the evidence I possibly can, and I compile it, and I, I see, okay, I test every piece of evidence against my theory. Does my theory still work given this piece of evidence? Okay, yes, yeah, so I include that. Does my theory still work given this piece of evidence? Yeah, I include that. There hasn't been any piece of evidence that has not fit into my framework, okay? So I'm looking at all of the same evidence that these guys are, but I'm coming to a different conclusion, you know? Let's say you have a bunch of dots. There are different ways to connect the dots. All of the evidence are different dots, you know? So we want to be able to connect the dots in every possible way so that we can see all of the possibilities that exist given evidence. And, you know, the more evidence we get, hopefully the more possibilities that we can cancel out. Um, you know, like if you have a lot of dots, you know, it's leading to a picture. You know, if there's not too many dots, you could draw anything you want in between those dots. So the more dots we get, the more complete the picture we get. So at this point, I think it's very safe to say that 
given all of the evidence, uh, the the idea that rockets do not work in space does actually hold up given all of the evidence. So I don't think there's any piece of evidence that can disprove that. Obviously, if there was proof that we went to the moon, like if there was a base up there that we could look at with our telescopes, then okay, obviously we've been to the moon or something's been to the moon, you know. But if we saw it go from no base to a base there, we would know. Okay, if we could zoom in on these so quote-unquote reflectors they left on the moon, if we could zoom in and take a telephoto picture of that and see that there is crap like that on the moon, then, you know, maybe we could uh, say that that piece of evidence goes against the rockets working in space. But as it stands, there is no conclusive evidence saying that rockets do in fact work in space. So, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to uh, prelude with all of that and, uh, you know, I hope that you watch through this whole thing. Let me know what you think. And it's a little a little brutal in points for sure but uh you know i think uh, i think even when i can't get a word in sideways you know just you know i think it's a valuable uh thing to see so thanks for watching i am the nature hacker do work oh also one more quick thing in the description there will be a link to this full video so you can zoom in like when he's at the end we're talking about the spacex how that's a flare um, go to the, to the, to video, the, the link in the description, it'll have the full, uh, picture. I'm just going to upload a low quality version just cause, uh, I don't really have the capabilities to upload such a big video. So, um, yeah, let me know. Also, so I can't upload, uh, this, <clears throat> this entire debate onto my main channel because I'm limited to 15 minutes. So, um, it's going to be on my nature hacker mind channel. So check the description of this video to get the link to my nature hacker mind video uh, that will be the full length discussion and then in the description of that video there's a link to red's version which will probably be a little higher quality when he's talking about uh the spacex uh flare so uh yeah let me know take care